What's going on, you guys? Like, welcome you guys to the channel. It's your boy Big Dog back with another one take review. Today, I got one for Hellstrom on Hulu. It's a Hulu original uh, from Marvel. Uh, Damon and Anna Hellstrom are the son and daughter of a mysterious and powerful serial killer. The siblings have a complicated dynamic as they track down the t the the terrorizing worst of humanity, starring Sidney Lemon as nope, nope, that's. Anna, yeah, that's right, and Tom Austin as Damon. Uh, it felt <laughs> Tom. I ain't gonna lie. Damon felt like a not as charismatic version of John Constantine. Now that might be what that that is, and for like Marvel, I don't know. I've never heard of Hells from before. Uh, before I watched this show, and um, I gotta say that I finished the show. Okay. So, it, the show can't be that bad if I finish the show. I've, I've seen people say that it wasn't good or it was trash. I'm like, it's not Iron Fist material, okay? It's not, so, it's not it's not Inhumans at all, okay? So, slow down, people. Now, it's not it's not action-packed. There's more, there's more story and character-driven. But here's probably my biggest issue. I don't know what was happening a lot of, a lot of the time. Okay, I, I honestly don't. I think they was trying to to, to, to to their mothers possessed by a demon. I don't know if it was trying to get the demon out of her or stop another demon. To me, to, and that could partially be on me. Okay, that could partially be on me. It could have been that I just didn't quite understand. Where the show was was leading me, and I was a panic. Now I do think I like the characters, I do, and and y'all know me. Whenever I'm watching something, that's probably my biggest thing. Well, two two things, it's the characters, and can you land that ending? And I didn't hate these characters one. Bit. That's, that's okay. That's not the best way. I like these characters. They weren't. They didn't suck. They weren't like. Oh, uh, I was never like. Oh my God, I can't stand this person. Oh, uh, why is they on screen? I was never like that with this, okay? It's just, I could... I don't want to say the story was convoluted because I, uh, there's a part of me feel like it might be my fault that I didn't quite follow what was happening. But there were a couple switches with, like, demons and names that I just didn't follow. It felt too freaky deaky, if that make, well, I don't know if freaky deaky is the right word. That's the word I usually use when I'm describing, like, all this hocus pocus type stuff. That's kind of what it felt like, and it was too, like, oh, we got to get this, this ancient artifact, and then this sacred demon, or then this let. I just be like, can you just say what it is and what it ain't? You know? And once again, that could partially be my fault. Maybe I didn't think as as creative, but apparently everybody else did because a lot of other people thought it was like, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's, it's below me. All right, so I'm actually, this is actually praise for me. Um, So, yeah, I enjoyed it. There was another character, um, uh, Gabriella. I liked her. But there were also different factions in it that I didn't understand and... And I watched all the episodes. <laughs> I watched. I, I didn't watch them all in one sitting. I definitely would like taking breaks in between because it's not one of those shows I watch tonight. I don't watch horror shows at night. It is what it is. Call me what you want to call me. I take it. I don't watch horror stuff at night. All right. So I would only watch it during the day, and it was like felt like days in between episodes because I wasn't in a rush to get back to it. But like, I think it finally hit a stride for me towards the end, and I just watched it. Or I just was trying to finish. I don't. I, I don't know. It's a mixed bag for me. Okay, it's a, it's a mixed bag. But like I said, I did finish it. Would I tell y'all to watch it? Depends on what you're into. If you like the 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 the, mis, the mystery, the 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 horror, the supernatural. Yeah, I think. Give it a chance, but if you ain't if you ain't into that and you ain't patient, it might not be for you, dog. It might not be for you. Also, if you're not trying to actually sit and watch it and pay attention, 
This is not going to be one of those things where you can look down, the, you know, you, you go to the kitchen, cook some, look down at your phone, and come back and think you're going to know what the hell is going on, because you're not. You're not. I'm not rating this this because I don't rate TV shows used particularly. I just basically say if you should watch it or shit. And I did tell y'all, it just, it depends on who you are, okay? It's Marvel. I know a lot of people love that, you know? If you're a Marvel fan, you might know these characters better than I do because I, I don't know them like that. You feel me? There are a couple powers and stuff at play, but not, not nothing crazy. It's not a superhero show by any means. It's just a Marvel show, but it's not a superhero show. Believe me. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's my weird-ass review for Hellstrom uh, on Hulu. Uh, hit that like button. Let, uh, subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you thought about the show. If you watched it, I would appreciate that. I'd... Tell me what you thought happened. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great 2021. And I'll get to you guys later. Peace.